Madison Avenue represents the uh, cave artist magically trying to compel the outer world to behave in a way consistent with their dreams. They are, in seems to me, in every sense of the word, artists, but um, artists whose vision is perhaps a bit um, cloudy. We, you see, the trouble with the word artist in our Western world is it's a classified term that means uplift. Get away from whatever you know. Pure escapism. Therefore, I tell you the word, and I think it has many unfortunate effects when it is used. Shuts you, it blocks your perception. The word art does not help people to understand art. It has the exact reverse effect. It sounds like Groucho, it includes me out. Yeah, we get this in the movie thing a lot, and the efforts to get, you know, good films studied as an integral part of people's education in college and high school. And you get somebody who will go through an enormous experience in front of a film and be moved in many ways uh, stronger than almost any other experience they get. And yet a day later they can get in a conversation and talk about, is movie an art? Because we've got this hang-up from the elite culture about Part, you know, being so respectable and comfortably apart and often the suburban areas of anybody's real experience. I was with a group of artists the other night who de denied the fact that photography was an art. Yeah. Sure. How would you define an artist, Marshall? I'd start with what the word means. Well, it means to create something that is not the work of the making. Making sense. The artist takes our sensory experiences and turns them into something really exciting. Most of us don't know how to make sense of our sensory lives. All, as Robert Louis Stevenson once said, I could make a, a world epic out of a newspaper if I only knew what to leave out. In every moment of our sensory experience, we create wonderful works of art, but it's all clouded because we don't want to know what to leave out. Art is making, not matching. And we make sense all the time. Every moment of our conscious lives is really making. But it's blocked and clouded by so many extraneous factors that we pick up from our culture that, um, well, for example, any Oriental will tell you, you people in the West spend all your time getting ready to live. The very nature of our, or the organization of our lives and the programming of our lives is getting ready for some great distant event that never takes place in our lifetime. I'm not speaking now of religion. I just, from an oriental point of view, the Western world is a ludicrous scene in which everybody spends all his time and energy getting ready to live. That's like saying, we really are artists. Why spend all your time trying to cultivate art and to um, buy expensive works of art which you don't understand? So the stance of the hippie actually is absolutely antithetic to that because their creed is the nowness of now. Not getting prepared for anything, but the nowness of now. Getting ready to live is part of our visual programming of connecting everything to everything, having, having a place for everything, doing everything in an orderly, blueprinted fashion which has no connection with our inner being or needs whatever.